What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out the new free and open source extension store that the Blender Foundation is working on adding to Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so the goal of this extension store is to make a platform available that is an online directory of free and open source extensions, right? Basically a place where you can go to download these free and open source extensions, um, kind of hosted by the Blender Foundation. And um, it also makes installing these a lot easier. On top of this, I think this also represents a change in the way that add-ons might be looked at in Blender. Um, we can talk about that in a minute. But first off, I want to note that this is currently contained inside of Blender 4.2 Alpha. And so to get access to this, you need to download Blender 4.2 Alpha. Note that this is still in development, but you want to go into the download section. You want to scroll down into the Blender Experimental and you want to find the Alpha version right here and you want to download it and install it. So once you do that, you're going to have access to the 4.2 version, which has the initial build. Again, remember that this is in alpha, meaning that it is kind of unstable and could break your files. So I wouldn't necessarily use it for anything. It's like a production file. But once we download this and open it up, so if I go into Blender 4.2, what we want to do is we want to go up into the edit preferences section. And this is where we're going to be able to enable the extensions in Blender. So if we jump over into the experimental function at the bottom of the page, actually, before you do that, you need to go into your interface and you need to check the box for developer extras. That's going to enable multiple different things. But one of the things that's going to happen when you do this is there's going to be a little box that pops up that says experimental. And so when you click on that, you can see a ton of new things that Blender is currently working on. And there's some really interesting things in here, but in this case, we're specifically focused on the extensions right here. Notice if you click on any of these little buttons, it's going to pop up a web browser where you can see um, information about the extensions platform. In this case, you can see how there's information in here about what they're working on, what they've done so far, other things like that. So if you want to learn more, you can come in here to see um, some of the more technical information about the way this is being developed. But in this case, what we want to do is we want to check the box for extensions. Notice when you check the box for extensions, the add-ons is going to change to extensions. From everything that I've heard, it doesn't sound like there's really a difference between extensions and add-ons. It sounds like it's just a different name with similar functionality, but I don't know that for sure. I've not been able to find anything saying that uh, the way that add-ons work is really going to change other than the installation. But if you check that, notice how this is going to change to extensions and it's going to look a little bit different. And so when you first open this up, it's probably going to show more of your legacy add-ons. These are just the add-ons that are currently built into Blender. Those are things that have always been there. Um, and so these are just going to be your like regular add-ons. And you may or may not see a list of extensions in here as well. Notice how there's an option here to filter by type. So you can filter themes, you can filter add-ons, um, other things like that. Now, one thing that you may need to do in order to get these add-ons to show up is you may need to click on the little drop down right here and click on the option for check for updates. When you do that, what this is going to do is this is going to, and you can kind of see it down here, it's going to sync back to that extensions.blender.org page and it's going to show you a list of the different um, extensions that are available in that store right here. And so notice how I've got a list of different add-ons and I can come in here and I can enable them and I can also click on the install button in order to bring them down from that extensions page. And so before we do that, let's take a look at the repository page. So it's basically under extensions.blender.org, but notice how it's got a few different um, add-ons down here or extensions. Notice how they're using them interchangeably right here. And so what you can do is you can go through and you can look at these and there's information about these in this list. So um, there's both add-ons and themes. We're going to focus on add-ons, but you can also download different themes and install those in Blender that are going to change the way Blender looks. But you can click on the see all button right here in order to see everything that's contained inside of that store. Remember, this is brand new, like completely new. So um, there's not a whole lot in the list right now, but there will be more. But you can see 
things about these different add-ons. So for example, um, I can click, or let's say we wanted to do this light painter. I can click on this and this is gonna show me information about that light painter in here right here. So I can see these on the list. There's also an option to get the add-on, which we'll talk about in a second. But if you want to find out more about the add-on or the extension, you can click on it going through this page right here. Now, now if we hop back into Blender, notice how you can also click on the little drop down here. So like light painter right here, you can click on the website button and that'll take you to that exact same page. Um, so basically this is just a repository of different things. But now say I wanted to install light painter, I can just click on the button for install. This is going to go find that file and install it without me having to do anything else. So notice how now, light painter is installed inside of blender and so notice how the tools for light paint are contained over here and this is definitely not a light paint tutorial more of a tutorial just showing you how this works now there's another way to install this which is actually probably going to affect the way that other extensions or add-ons work in blender in the future so we're going to pop this window back up and what you might have noticed about this and i'm going to make this a little bit wider so we can see our bar on the right hand side of the page let's go pick another one of these add-ons so we're going to pick context pi right here. Now, one of the things you might have noticed is there's also a box over here for get add-on. Well, if you click on that, notice how it gives us the option to drag and drop into Blender. This is very exciting because now, notice how if I drag and drop this into Blender, what it's gonna do is it's gonna ask me if it wants to install the add-on. I'm gonna say okay, and then it's going to install context Pi right here. And so if that's truly the direction things are going for installing add-ons in Blender, that's much um, much more straightforward than dealing with the current like zip files and other things like that that we currently have. So that could be something that indicates the way that add-ons are going to work in the future. But notice how now, if I select this box, right click, notice how that Pi menu tool is now available. So I can select this, all the different Pi menus are gonna show up. So I can access different select modes, different tools, other things like that. But you can use this in order to drag and drop add-ons into Blender and enable them. All right, so I'm excited to see where this goes. Um, I'm gonna be watching that extensions repository very closely because there could be some really cool stuff in here. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think about this new tool. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.